awesome and amazing Tauruses. It's my weekly Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. We have our beautiful astrological card of the bull, second house of the zodiac. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics, calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Taurus viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number eight. Power of number seven. Mm, power of number seven again, eight, seven, seven. So adding up the numbers brings me to the number 22. Some of you Tauruses could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. You may also be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo born in the month of July. Could also be dealing with a Pisces or an Aquarius born in the month of February. You could have been born in 1972, 1977, or possibly 1978. You could have been born in 1982 or maybe even possibly 1987 for some of you. Okay, so <clears throat> going to the power of number 22 for the beautiful star sign of Taurus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Trusted ancestors on my Taurus viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Taurus need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. Temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You may also be doing research online. You could also be building up a business. Uh, you could be tapping more into your sense of spirituality right now. Raising your frequency, your vibrational frequency. Hang on one second. You okay, Toto? Come here. Okay. She gets too hyper in the morning. Where was I, spirits? Okay. So with temperance right now, you could be putting your nose to the grindstone, maybe thinking about how to build a home-based business. That's what I'm also picking up on. A lot of you might need to get back into reading books again versus, you know, constantly reading something online. Are you okay over there? Okay. So right now, education is at the forefront. Educating yourself to get to some kind of higher level of frequency or a higher, a higher level vibration of success. This is what I'm picking up on. Or whatever feels tumultuous in your life right now, Taurus, something will balance itself out. Because traditionally speaking, temperance in tarot represents the guardian angel card. And so there's an alchemy, an ebb and flow. Okay, so or going with the flow of a situation, okay, um, and allowing life to happen, but you also being a part of the greater picture, okay, going after what it is that you want, but you may need to educate yourself or advance your wisdom, advance your knowledge, Right now, there are some choices that you may be faced with or somebody could have tried to blindside you to the truth of something or it is about making a choice. Maybe it is to go back to school. This could be taking an online course. What I'm hearing the word or seeing the word in my mind's eye, it's about advancement. Seven of spears, okay? This is like the seven of wands. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or uh, with the sword activity. You may also be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. I also have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Right now, you could have your walls up right now. Maybe you're trying to protect or defend something. Maybe this is just protecting your mental health. 
You could have been around a lot of toxic people, friends, family members, Taurus, that, you know, just right now you could be putting yourself first and putting up your walls of protection. Protecting your belief system. Yeah, right now you could feel like you're stuck. You know, either you feel like you're stuck or you're all up in your head because a choice or a decision needs to be made. It could be in regards to a romantic situation, Ten of Cups, but it's in the reverse. Right now, it could feel like, you know, maybe there's nothing going on in your uh, love life. Which you can manifest for, yes. But right now, I feel like career, career, your money, your house, your foundation, your structure, stability. I feel this is more at the forefront. Finding your internal peace or happiness. I'm going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle, and then I'm also going to go into um, the Kipper deck. Because there's something here about change, or you're trying to change, or... You're trying to learn how to manifest at a greater level or get your vibrational frequency up and running to where it needs to be so that better things come into your life. This can also talk about, you know, maybe um, practicing more of the attitude of gratitude. So many things remind me of you right now, Taurus, you could be in some kind of silence right now. And this person could be reminiscing about you. They could be thinking about, you know, wherever they go, they could hear your name. They could be in the car right now, daydreaming, thinking about certain things that you said to them. Could be you. You could be trying to figure out how to manifest this person back into your life. You speak to me through music. Maybe you sent a song to this person. Maybe you sent them a music link. Maybe they sent you a music link in order to convey what it is that they were feeling towards you. And somebody didn't uh, read the message. I feel like there has been ignored text messages. We will be together again. Somebody could be trying to force their way back into your life or maybe begging you for forgiveness. But Taurus, maybe you you are the one that has the wall up right now. Because Spirit's saying trust was broken. Trust was broken. Like you don't trust this person entirely at all. There may be some underlying feelings going on. Despite the fact that I'm not seeing any cup cards to show me a lot of emotion right now, but they could be suppressed. It could be suppressed emotions. This person could be trying to creep back into your life to prove to you, to prove to you that they want to be with you, but you're just like, mm, mm, whatever. You know, you could be just like in a whatever mode. I left you before you could leave me. So if this person abruptly left your life, they know that they messed up everything. They missed their chance. They missed the boat, Taurus. Haha, <laughs> spirit saying, not my circus, not my monkeys. <laughs> Yeah, Taurus, you've had enough drama in your life, in truth. You you really have. A lot of you Tauruses have had enough drama. And right now, I think it's just a matter of getting to that level of peace, being able to decompress. I feel like you gave this person a lot of your heart, your soul, your money, you know, putting in a lot of effort. And maybe in the beginning stages, yeah, things could have been going fantastic, you know, but there, it's just somebody switched, uh, flipped the switch. And it could feel like this person just turned off their feelings, like turning off the faucet. You know what I mean? And you could just be in this 
eight of swords mentality, like in a form of bewilderment, thinking like, how does, how does somebody do that? And turn their emotions off. They were insecure. This is what they, this is showing me. They left you before you could leave them. So this person had issues. They had things I feel from their past that they did not. They didn't uh, face. Let's just put it that way. They didn't want to face the truth because the Eight of Swords is basically like that Harry Houdini self-imposed prison uh, of their thoughts. What if it doesn't work out? Maybe this is too good to be true. Maybe Taurus is the one, but I don't know. Maybe maybe Taurus is going to break my heart and whatever, okay? They could have had a lot of X, Y, and Z reasons for leaving you. But they really left you, in. for some cases, they really left you blindsided, like not knowing which way was up, which way was down. And some of them could be trying to force or push their way back into your life. And right now, you may just, I, I'm seeing like the five of pentacles in my mind's eye. You could just be leaving this person out in the cold, like thinking, no, you can't just walk in and walk out of my life whenever you feel like it. It's not going to happen. There's a message coming, possibly for some of you in the next seven days. This person could come back in and start reminiscing, reminiscing about the past or randomly text message you and say that they love you. Mm. Be careful of that because they need to prove it. Yeah, they need to step up to the plate, the official person. This could be you right now, you know, setting boundaries. journey they left they left you before you could leave them this person could be at a distance could be a long distance relationship situation that's going on or maybe you just feel like you know what i'm gonna wash my hands of this and maybe pack my things up and i'm gonna go somewhere else some of you could be thinking about moving and say to hell with this to hell with this person done And for some of you in that long distance relationship situation, you might've had a hard time really trusting this person. Like, what, are they really truly being loyal? Are they really truly being faithful to me? Yeah, false person, you guys. This false person left you before you could leave them, but they left you in a sense of bewilderment. Listen, out with the old, in with the new. Let this person go. They were false. They were false in their intentions. Their words were not matching up with their actions. Taurus, you deserve so much better. You need to immerse yourself in you. Get your life back in order. Get Yeah, Toto, for whatever reason, Toto's acting up. She sense it. Yeah, baby girl. Does Taurus need to get balanced again? Get back into them? Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? What are, you, what are you trying to say, Toto? <laughs> Tell, I, you know, it's so funny. Certain Zodiac signs, she starts to act up like she's a Sagittarius, you know? And um, when I was doing the Sag reading, uh, she started acting up. Why are you acting up with Taurus? Mm. Sounds like she's trying to make the moo, like mooing sounds, cows, bulls. Come on now. Oh boy. But yeah, this person definitely could try to reach out to you, you guys. And uh, I wouldn't answer this person's uh, text message right away or phone call. All right, Toto, we get you. Thank you for the, com yes, thank you for the confirmation. Well, thank you for the confirmation. She's acting up. <laughs> something's off is it this false person toto yep false person yep you guys don't even go there anymore they will leave you they will leave you all up in there in your head okay 
And they will, I feel like this person is trying to be sneaky or figure out how to wiggle their way back in. So don't let this person's energy throw you off, basically. Okay. My awesome and amazing Tauruses, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, you guys, take care.